the policing system in this country to uphold the ethics and code of conduct of this enviable profession, policing in Nigeria. Today, again, we are here to attend to the case of one of one policeman who was caught in the viral video um, on 31st August 2022, where he was um, flogging a Nigerian with matches. The police authority was pickled by this hat and decided to try the policeman in not the room trial at the first headquarters here. And today we have the verdict of the room trial that the policeman who was identified in the video as Police Constable Lee Yomo Okoi with force number 524503 uh, attached to Echo Ray Division in Cross River States. Enlisted to the Nigeria Police Force 28 October 2019 as from today has ceased to be a member of the force because he has been dismissed. The force has reviewed the early room proceeding and of course in line with the provisions of our Eastern laws. This Mr. Lee Omo Okoye who has been dismissed from the Nigerian Police Force has nothing to do with the Nigerian Police Force as from this moment. We want to state categorically that after this press briefing, we are going to decree this man. We are going to retrieve our property, including uniform and other attachments, particularly the police order card issued to him, from him. We want to hold members of the public not to relate with them as a member of the Nigerian Police Force as from this moment. We still want to state again that the Inspector General Police, IGP, Usman Akali Baba, PSC, Daga, NPM, FDC, has retreated his commitment to make sure we have sanity in the Nigerian Police Force, to make sure we uphold discipline in this job. The Nigerian Police Force is a civil institution, saddle responsibility of maintenance of law and order, and of course, to make sure we protect people's fundamental human rights. We have not in any way sent any policeman out there to go harass any Nigerian, to extort, or to engage in any corrupt practices that can align the standards and values of the Nigerian police force. In that line, the RGP, after the first management meeting of today, Monday, 8th of August 2022, has also directed the AIG in charge of Force Intelligence Bureau AIG Abusani to take charge of proper supervision of other tactical squads of the Nigerian Police Force, including the Intelligence Response Team RRT, Special Tactical Squad, and SWAT, for proper supervision and, of course, to boost their service delivery. So we are trying our best to make sure that we bring back the glory of the Nigeria Police Force to bridge the gap between the police and members of the public in this country. Police is part of our system. Police is part of our society. And we would not allow 
any unprofessional conduct or inappropriate behavior to cause any gap between the police and the members of the public. We need to work together in as much as we preach and we encourage Nigerians to embrace the concept of community policing. There is no how we will not operate on the same page. There is no how we will not work together with members of the public to achieve our goals. So we want to assure Nigerians that the leadership of the, press, the police force will continue to do the needful to make sure the police regains its standards, regains its respect, and discharge its duties as expected of this enviable profession as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So today is on record again that history is being made that this man, Lee Yomo Okoye, has been dis dismissed from the police and has ceased to be a member of the Nigerian Police Force. Thank you. So, Provost, we go on with the kids, retrieve our property from him, and let him go in peace.